welcome to the Unbothered Moms, where we are shifting our perspectives and letting, letting shit go. go. I'm Bridget. I'm Kat. And today we are going to give you guys a, a random assortment. Yeah. Of topics. Random assortment. Just a little bit of what's going on, what we're thinking of currently. Yeah. Like for me, I'm pumped to get a library card. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We were just talking about this. So let's talk about it. Where... What library? The I mean, just the us? one near my house. Yeah. Okay. But it has like a network of other libraries that you can also go to with the card. And this might sound super elementary, but I have not had a library card in decades. And Izzy's getting really into like reading and just like loves the idea of like going to get a book and then returning it and getting another book like library at school. She really enjoys. And I've been reading more, but I keep buying books. And I'm like, for what? I know. I read them and then I'm going to like give them away to somebody because I've already read it. I'm not like a rereader of things. So I was like, the library is a great idea. And now I'm like pumped because they have audiobooks, magazines, articles. It's a nice place to just go sometimes and like it's quiet. Yeah. I wonder if all the librarians go, shh. Oh my God. I hope so. Right. Like in high school and they're like, shh, it's a library. Oh, that was the best, but the worst because like you're trying to goof off and be weird. I but was always like, like the one chatting and they'd be like, yeah, all right, all right. I was friends with the librarian. So she let me slide. Uh, I used to friends, help check out books. friends with everyone. Brown noser. Literally. Love it for me. <laughs> <laughs> That's exciting though. Library. Um, yeah. Oh, this is when you feel like a bad mom. Why? So last week I didn't read Knox's book before he had to return it. Do you oh. know the meltdown that happened? Really? He was so upset. I said, buddy, just keep it then. He's like, then I can't get a new book. Like, you have to read it now. And like, I had to put him on the bus. He was crying. I was like, I'm going to have to keep him. Just like, it was. Oh, my God. He was so upset. And then I was upset because I'm like, oh, how did I forget to read this book? Right. And they take two minutes. They were, Yeah, so fast. But the bus was coming and I had to get him on the bus and he was. Distraught. Uh, and it, and like, you're, I'm pretty sure he said, you're the worst mommy. Yep. And I was like, yeah, I know. <laughs> I agree, kid. I get like probably two of those a week. No. You're the worst mom ever. I'm like, yep. Count it. See, it doesn't bother you. It doesn't bother me. Bothers. It's like, uh, every yeah. time. But that's just something soft. You're, yeah, you're I'm a softy. soft little bitch. You're soft. <laughs> Sometimes Izzy does like, I've, there's been multiple weeks I've never even seen the book come out of her backpack. Mm. I think she's kind of like me in the sense of like, I have like a shopping addiction. Mm. So like, she likes to go get the book. And then just like return it like without ever needing yeah. to read it. She's like, my mom does this all the time with things she buys. Yeah. <laughs> still have tags. Still in yeah. the bag. I'll be like, or if there's like something like wasted at like home, I'm like, well, you can't just waste it. She goes, mommy, we can just go get another one. I'm like, oh God, gotta change that mindset. Unless you come into some wealth because you're not getting that here. See all my drinks. I have three yeah. drinks today. What flavor is that? Arctic. Arctic vibe. It is mm. sparkling frozen berry. It's delicious. Interesting. Do you have a favorite of those Celsius drinks? Mm. I love the grape rush. Ew, grape? It's so good. Nobody thinks anything flavored grape it's, is good. It's really good. Mm -hmm. It probably tastes like medicine. Like Diamond Tap, kind of. Ew, and you then, like that? Yeah, I don't know. I guess I do. And then there's a green apple cherry that's so good. Green apple cherry. So good. I've never but, even heard of that flavor. I else. love apples, but I can't eat them because I have oh, right. an adult <laughs> onset allergy. Yeah. So anything that's like apple flavored, I'm like, yes. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Which I I think I'm going to eat an apple soon and test it out again. I won't die. Maybe just like I a just swell piece. up a bit. Yeah. Just like bite. <sighs> Yeah, I would. I used to be an apple like maniac. An apple a day. Apples are great. They're they clean convenient. Your teeth. Yeah, they Do clean your teeth. Yeah, it's a pretty solid fruit choice for Eve to mm -hmm. make. Yeah, I like yeah. it. I love when my kids get an apple. I mean, they never finish it. Sage's apple will just have random bite marks around the entire yeah. thing, and I'm like, okay, we're gonna cut this into pieces. <laughs> Like, here we go. Yeah, Izzy again only likes the Wawa apples that are pre-sliced and mm -hmm. peeled, which. I to me, they're like kind of mushy and gross. They are because they put stuff on them to uh, like lemon juice or like something preserve to them. preserve them and not have them turn brown. Yeah. I'm like, go to rolls. Kids are so weird. 
I um I had a uh, root beer. Speaking of drinks, for the first time in a long time last night, mm. so good, mm. so good. Root beer. Have you had a root beer float ever? Yes, I have. Those are great. One time growing up, my friend at the time we do we're doing a science project together, mm-hmm. and I didn't really know like you don't really know a bunch about your friend's parents, nothing, or, like what they're about. But apparently her mom was very, very clean, organic, and she made us root beer floats with like diet root beer mixed with club soda and ice cream. It was the most disgusting thing I had ever had in my entire life. And that is forever ingrained in my head. So you're like, "Mm." and like my friend and her sister were like, this is so good. What a treat. I'm like, you guys are missing out. You have no idea. Unreal root beer float. There's nothing like it. It was like, there's too many bubbles with the club soda. Like it was yeah. just so bad, not flavorful. Mm-mm. And I had to pretend I was full, even though I wasn't. You really wanted a root beer float, but not that kind. And even the ice cream was tainted. Like Ew. usually the ice cream, you can at least, you know, eat just the eat ice that. Cream. Uh-uh, not here. I'll never forget that. You're like, no. Yeah. Yeah. No. Mm. No, I love good root beer float. <clears throat> um, cream soda as well. Um, I don't really know much about cream soda. Dude, cream soda. Ah, oh, so good. I just always think of like orange cream, like cream, yeah, no. creamsicles. I don't like that. No, it's not like that at all. It's kind of like, um, actually, I can't describe it, but you'll have to try it. Mm, okay. But I'll get you some of the Zevia cream soda. Okay. So we're walking through, it was like one of those health stores mm-hmm. and in the front where usually there's like chips or like regular soda, I see Zevia. And I was like, this bitch. There it is. There it is. is. Never saw it until then. And I was like, okay, it does exist. Yeah. Um, Knox had some Zevia Coke the other day. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. It's just like flavored with natural stuff. And it's like seltzer. Is it kind of like flavored club soda? Um, Like I have the soda stream. So like we make like club soda and then just put like like whatever in it. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't have like, it has stevia in it. Right. So right. that's like the good part because like Coke, terrible. How much sugar is actually in it? So good. Um, yeah. So Nox is like, yeah, I love this Coke. <laughs> I'm gonna go tell his friends. Literally, I had I had Coke yesterday. Oh my god. Um, but yeah, CV is good. Um, I I really wanted to uh, address everyone here who's from Philadelphia. Mm. Or. Is just an Eagles fan. Or just an Eagles fan. Or just a Jason Kelsey fan. There's a lot more of those. There's a lot more of those. As of recent, I feel like. Uh, Yeah. Seriously, guys. um, If you did not watch the press conference, do yourself a favor and do it. Because. So Jason Kelsey is retiring from the Eagles. Which is why he held a press conference. Held a press conference yesterday (laughs) to announce his retirement. But he spent like 40 minutes talking about all these different memories and the people he really appreciated. And this guy. Like, he couldn't even start without crying. I know. I There is something that is so genuine and pure and fucking amazing about a man who can be emotional. Like, this is a big, burly man who literally hits people for money. <laughs> okay? And he's sensitive and he's soft and he knows how to just be himself. Yeah. And I, I love that so much. I mean, everything about him is amazing. And I just think that more men should be like him. Like be vulnerable. Mm-hmm. Cry if you want to cry. Mm-hmm. Be honest with your feelings. Like life is so short. Yeah. And I feel like, I don't know. I was so envious of Kylie Kelsey in that moment to Aww. just like, did you hear him talk about her? Oh, yeah. <sighs> yeah, it was great. Oh. <sighs> So amazing. I felt jealous. I'm like, God damn, Kylie. How many times did you cry watching that? I didn't, actually. You didn't? Mm -mm. I I, cried twice. Yeah, no. I was like, I I don't know. I wasn't in the right space. Oh, I was just, yeah, I was was cozy and drinking my coffee and just in the moment, I was like, I can relate to that. I literally was like this. Or you had like tears in your eyes, but nothing ever fell. But just, yeah. And I was just like <laughs> open mouth at just the um, vulnerability of him was just incredible. Also, I want to know, like, did he write that himself and nobody proofread it? And like, because that was 
a lot of the storytelling was very eloquent it was detailed enough but not too detailed it was great and also like no one read it for a lot of he just did it you think yeah damn no there's no way anyone read it i feel like he's like off the cusp like here it is right like doesn't plan shit Mm -hmm. um which i appreciated even more yeah but i was just like and when he's like the greatest you know thing you can be for your kids is to show up and be a father and oh cried oh cried i just feel like his parents his family his friends his teammates his coaches like everyone it must be so proud of him and yeah just humble to have t- him in in their life yeah yeah i just had to say that because he's just incredible big and fan I'm glad i have his jersey oh, that's always, exciting yeah I always that'll be a great jersey stuff. to have too always hot stuff i was like you know i like the hairiness like yep. the bigness like, yep. so and then throwing crying i'm just yeah he's very emotional i'm sliding off my seat <laughs> <laughs> and a trifecta there oh my god very big emotional <laughs> yeah that could be, yeah that does it for me oh it I'm, could also be a couple different things hook line sinker <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> i love that you love it so much i know there was a, a meme i saw because obviously you know there's a bunch of reporters there and everything and um what travis was wearing mm-hmm. was like a button up and like kind of like slacks but like in his own way and somebody was like it looks like every, all my cousins when they uh appear in court yep <laughs> in delco yeah literally <laughs> mm-hmm. like kind of put together but also mm. kind of not yeah in the glasses and the glasses oh yep. i just like i was literally <clears throat> thinking i'm like if Taylor Swift saw this, she'd be like, oh, I got the wrong brother. Oh, um, just because I mean, I don't know. Travis was crying, too. They yeah. Like paying to him after. You yeah. See from a different angle. But um, she's probably like, wow, he's so sensitive and soft. I know. That's I amazing. feel like having a family changes you, though. It does. Like, I think. I mean, I wouldn't really know firsthand, but I think for a lot of people, uh, men and women, mm-hmm. probably more women than men, having a family, kids. Mm-hmm. like changes you having a supportive partner yeah is super if it doesn't change you then there's something wrong yeah some aspect of it is wrong for yes. you yes yes um and not everybody needs that but no. like yeah i think it definitely shifts you mm. it was beautiful it was so nice it was so did you see all nice. the people outside that have like kegs i love that yeah well i didn't realize that the eagles coach would give send him kegs to make him come back to I, keep playing when you the said past that, couple I was, years. I, loved it. Uh-huh. I had no idea. Uh-huh. It's like a, a deep cut there. And it was so cool how he was just like, I wanted to, I knew I wanted <clears throat> to stay in one city for my entire career. Yeah. And it couldn't have been a better place for me. I know. I mean, it's true. Mm-hmm. I feel like he just fits really well here he for does. sure. So congrats, Jason Kelsey, on your retirement. Yeah. I hope I like what do you think he's going to do after this? He'll be a commentator or something, but also Do you think he'll be a coach? I don't know. His podcast is doing great. Yeah. Like he's not going to struggle for money. No, so no, I no. I don't think really he needs necessarily to do anything, yeah, but probably wants to find something that he can enjoy. Maybe yeah. commentate or coach. Mhm. Mm, I don't know if he'd coach. I feel like he wants to spend more time at home and you're basically still there yeah. all the time. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. You Even know? maybe a little bit more doing scouting and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, maybe something behind the scenes. Yeah. Cool. Maybe he'll just be like on the bandwagon of Travis. Dude, every game. I would love to watch that. Yeah. I would literally go to a Chiefs game just to see Ooh, Jason Kelsey okay. enjoy the game. That's in our future. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Wear Kelsey jerseys. Like, that'd be great. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's going to happen. <laughs> We're that's going to happen. Um, so uh, uh, just kind of shifting gears so a game that izzy randomly has come up with Mm -hmm. which i don't know if it's random or somebody at school told her it's called rainbow cars yep and i was like okay that's interesting like what do we have to do like find cars with multiple colors she's like no you have to find one car for every part of the rainbow and then you win but it's like but then she didn't want to make it a competition because she didn't want to lose so then we do it collectively so you have to find red orange yellow green blue purple and then she's added pink because that's her favorite color cars as you're driving and once you complete it you get to celebrate and it's been like a fun thing just to like do in the car and like it brings out other conversations and topics but it's good it's a fun distraction i'm gonna have to play rainbow car yeah 
-hmm. rainbow cars you just like shout out colors is it hard to find certain colors so there's one pink car on one of the ways that we go home or to school that's good um but we also pass a lot of car dealerships yes okay so it's not i mean i have a much longer trip than you would um so it's really not hard to complete okay good and there's oddly a lot of orange cars i didn't know that I, me either until you're looking for one and then you see like three or four and you're like why mm-hmm. why are there so many orange cars yeah interesting and also sometimes blue and green are hard to find which you wouldn't necessarily think that mm. but also i have a judge in the back that tells me certain cars aren't truly that color um that's actually more light blue um that's actually not really green it's actually more like a yellow green so that doesn't count i'm like Kids are the best. Now we're just making up rules so I can't find cars for our rainbow car game. <laughs> Kids are the best. They're so blunt. Like they'll literally, I saw a meme the other day that said like, hey, look at me do, hey, like you got a fat belly. Watch me do a cartwheel. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? They yeah. don't care. Oh no. Is he's like, mommy, why does your belly look like jello? I'm like, well, there's a couple reasons why. <laughs> And then she's like, can I have a snack? Yeah. And then she'll be like, I love you. Or she'll be like, I love your soft body. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Because they're so humbling. Yeah. Oh, my God. I All can. the time. Like, oh, Sage will do that. Like, if I'm getting changed, I try to just avoid, like, <laughs> my children at all when I'm getting changed. Because it's just like my butt becomes like. Right. They're like, it moves. Blah, blah, blah. blah. Yeah. And I'm like. <laughs> You're like, Thank yep. You. Thank you. Yep, sure does. You're like, why is it so big? I'm like, you're gonna, your butt's gonna get bigger too. Yeah, all of you will get bigger. <laughs> and they're like, <laughs> they get so scared. Uh huh. It's so funny. The funny, uh, the funniest one is just like Sage with boobs. Oh my god, I can't. Izzy was obsessed with the, for a little while too. Oh, uh, and she's not even like she just wants to say and like reiterate. I only have she'll say, "Mommy, I just have nipples now, but I only have boobs when I'm bigger." <laughs> And I'm and like, you're like yeah. yeah. I'm like, that's how it goes. And she's like, but not now, because I'm a kid. But when I'm older, I'm gonna be like you. Right. I'm like, yeah. And then she's like, and Knox and Daddy have nipples, but they won't grow boobs. Like she just has to like, okay. like put it out put there. Put it out there. And I'm like, okay, yeah. This is what's gonna happen. Everything. And I'm like, hey, one day I'll talk to you about your period. So oh, that's gonna yeah. be the worst. That's gonna be terrible. Be like, I what? Yeah. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> I'm not ready for that. No. And I feel like Izzy's going to get it sooner She's gonna than be most like people because, yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, God. Oh, okay. Yeah, let's not even talk about that. Not it ready me. for it. Um, Something else that Izzy's done with her body specifically is she will put her, like, she'll try and make, like, excess skin in her chest. And she'll be like, hey, mommy, look at I have a front butt. <laughs> That's I'm funny. like, what? Because <laughs> there's, like, a line. Yeah. I'm like, okay. Oh, my God. She loves butts. Butts, 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 butts. All no butts. butts about it. No butts about we all it. Love butts. That's what she like. One of her sight words for school is butt, and she's like, "That's my favorite word." I'm like, "But it's not meaning the butt that you think it is. That's yep. two T's. This is one. So like, let's make sure that we're no. utilizing everything that properly." In has two T's. Yeah. <laughs> what? She's writing butt with two. T's oh yeah, and they're school. like, "No, wrong. Mm-hmm. No wrong." And you're like, mm-hmm. "Wrong again." <laughs> Sorry, not happening. I know. But it's fun. It's good times. Okay. All my drinks. Now. Oh, let's go for the trifecta. You, I was also thinking you have a energy drink mm-hmm. as well as a coffee. Yep. And a water. Right, the water. I'm, I'm more concerned about your caffeine intake. Yeah, I know. Okay. Well, Are you tired? You don't look tired. Um, usually the taste of it. I love the taste. But I also think usually it's because I don't have breakfast. Okay. So I feel like the caffeine yeah. like helps me not be hungry for some reason. But why do you need like I'm more concerned about like your heart. Oh my heart's fine because you hmm. can have up to two of these a day. Only two. So I'm like one coffee and one Celsius. That's two. I won't have any caffeine this afternoon. Okay. If I start like Ugh, let me know. Maybe you should just like go to the doctor soon and just like get it checked out. Okay. That's sure. all. I'll talk to them. Like, hi, I got problems. Yeah. My friend told me that I should get my heart checked. Let's get my heart checked. Because yeah. I I'm just you know, a little bit concerned about it for you. Because okay. I just realized that right now as you're drinking both. 
She loves me. People. I do. She loves me. I love you. I love my Stanley. Guys, guess what I got? A new plant for the office. Because three of them have already died. <laughs> I know. I don't know. I think it might be. I don't know if it's just like the. Um, it's great lighting in here. It is good lighting. And that My air plant is yeah, thriving. thriving. I kind of want to steal it back and take it home and like switch out for one of the new ones in here. The lettuce one here. Yeah. It won't fit no, it really. won't fit in there. Mm. So I got three air plants because that's the only kind of plants I can keep alive. And you soak them once a week for 20, 30 minutes. And then you just let them yeah. be. And it's mm -hmm. great. But I ordered them off of Etsy. And one of them, I ordered a large. But it was only like $5. Yeah. It is my entire like forearm in length. Yeah. It looks like a lettuce, like a romaine lettuce head. <laughs> and I'm like, what the fuck am I going to do with this? I love it. I don't know. Don't ask me. I don't know either. I soil plants. Yeah. I can't do soil. I have an aloe vera plant. Aloe. Is it just called aloe plant? You can say aloe vera, but you could just call it an aloe plant. Oh, we're not that close. So I just call no. it aloe vera. The full name. <laughs> that, that one's going strong. Mm -hmm. You said they're pretty hard to kill though, right? No, aloe, uh, they can be tricky if you overwater them. Oh, so no. Don't, don't do too much. That's the thing. I forget to you water. Forget. That's, That's why I can't yeah, have no. something that like yeah, needs has a lot of water. water. No, I have a thousand plants. That plant over there that we have, the new one that you got, looks like you could cut off the leaves and make it into like a, a salad bowl it does literally and the thing about this is i like looked it up so i'm into saving plants um <laughs> i do like i will find i know them, it's like, funny in to me section where they're like clarence gotta go and they're like about to die and i'm like i'll, I'll save you i've saved so many they're thriving <laughs> i've propagated a lot of them and this one over here, though, I like looked it up and it's something with the light, which is why its leaves are curling. So we're working on it. Wait, what do you mean something with the light? Like it's not getting light? No, like I think where it was before at the store, it had like too much light on it. So they like try to protect themselves and curl up. Oh, pretty sure. So we're working on it. Oh, that's nice. The other ones came down. So there's just two that are really curled still. Yeah. So we'll they look cool, mm -hmm. but we don't want them to be in, you know, fight mode. Yeah, no. So we want them to be nice and relaxed. Working on it. And any okay. of you guys who don't have plants, I suggest you get <clears throat> a single plant at least. And why do you suggest that? Uh, most plants are air purifiers. Mm. Mm -hmm. And they also give oxygen out. And they also just like are aesthetically appealing. Yeah. And then also, if you can keep it alive, you kind of feel good about yourself. That's true. And just get an easy one. There are so many that literally will say on it, hard to kill. Yeah, I always ask that. At it. Yeah. Yeah. To where like, they're fine if you overwater, fine if you underwater, fine in the sun, fine in, fine in the shade. Yeah. My friend um, ML got me a plant, I guess it was like two or three years ago. But it's like, she's, <laughs> I was like, why did you get me this? She goes, trust me. It'll work. You're not going to kill no. it. And even if you start to kill it, it'll come back if yeah. you water it. And that thing has been thriving as well. See, is it a pothos? No. I do have one of those. Pothos are great for people who. It's in water. Yeah. But I think I want to plant it in soil because I feel like it's not thriving just in the water. Yeah. Plant it. Um, But this is like almost like a fern looking thing. Ooh, but it's not a fern. Hard. I don't know. It's just a plant that's not easy to kill. And I appreciate that. I'll check it out. Know your friend's strengths and weaknesses. Because now I'm like, oh my God, I still have it. Mm -hmm. It's a slow growth one, but you know. That's like us. Slow growth. Oh, wow. Always going deeper. Always going a level or two Just, deeper. I told you I'm an onion. I'm an onion and a donkey. Layered, Layered baby. Layers. Layer, layer, layers. One thing I wanted to uh, touch on this week. Yes. Is. Mm. Communication. Mm, okay. You know, I feel like communication in my life hasn't been going great. With okay. Like work people. Like all friends, around. Like all around. I feel like people aren't being great communicators lately and it's annoying me. Like in what way? Like just, just not communicating or just communicating, not communicating poorly? Or communicating poorly, both. Both. Okay. And my thing is sometimes I get it. Like I. I will literally forget to text back. There's like a thousand things going on. Mm -hmm. Give me a little nudge. Fine. Okay. Mm -hmm. Blah. But like to feel like people just aren't 
communicating because they don't feel like maybe I deserve that pisses me off. Ooh. Hmm. See, this is the difference between me and you. Mm -hmm. You take it as that you don't deserve it, and I take it as they're an idiot. (laughs) See, yes, that's the difference. Like, I'm like, I deserve, like, whatever. Like, it's true. And it's just, like, I'm so big right now on, like, reciprocated energy. Mm. Mm -hmm. If you are lacking, if you are slacking, stay away from me. Because it bothers me. I'm not one of these I people know. like you. You let it ride. You're like, whatever. I don't care. Talk to you next week if you want. Yeah, or never. Whereas, like, I fester and I'm just like, why do I not deserve Yeah, you internalize communication? it. Communication. Yeah. And like I said, I can be bad at it sometimes, but not not in those ways. It's like, if you send me a meme and I forget to heart it, like, sorry. <laughs> like, we're cool. You always but heart like, my memes. <laughs> but, like, even just through work when I'm like, hey, can you get back to me on this? Hey, hey, hey. That annoys me. I can't do my job. Yeah. I'm putting the energy to do my job well and you're not responding to me. Mm. Same thing about friendships. <laughs> relationships. Your eyes bugging out. Same thing about friendships and relationships. Like I just feel like <clears throat> when I am in a position with someone to be their friend mm-hmm. or coworker or whatever, like I am giving you what you need. You're giving them access to you too yes. and access to your energy. So it's just like, don't waste it. Right. If you do, you're dumb because this energy is fucking golden. Oh, just like your sweater. It is though. Like yeah. I'm not like, I don't know. I don't like mediocrity. I don't like people's like shit where it doesn't feel genuine. I don't like to feel like I'm bugging someone. Yeah. And if that's the case, go on and find something else work with someone else be a friend with someone else would you be comfortable with somebody like say say they hear the episode or they just like get like they're like okay would you be okay if they ghosted you or would you want to have an explanation of why they've been a shitty communicator and then like why they're deciding to like leave out of your life i don't like ghosting um because then that leads to the other levels of me that will constantly replay everything Mm. and be like wait you know, what if or what if? So for me, it's just like, just say, hey, I'm just not feeling this friendship right now. It's a lot for me. I have X, Y, and Z going on in my life. Or I just don't like you. Yeah. Any Which brings me to fine. my next point I've been meaning to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, yeah. I just, oh, I don't know. I just think people should be genuine to each other. And if it's not working for you in any fashion, go by and just say that. Yeah. We're all adults. Yeah. People always might not realize it. Yeah. I think, but I am like, I just, you're an overthinker. I'm an overthinker. I wish I was an underthinker. Mm -hmm. Actually don't do that. Underthinkers are uh, the worst. Yeah, it's true. I'm just like overstimulated constantly overthinker. I don't sleep a lot. Hmm. I, you know what I want to look into? Microdosing mushrooms. Oh, yeah. People do it all the time. I know. I think maybe that might help me. I'm not like a marijuana person. I don't really do what about melatonin. Maybe. You never tried melatonin? Back in the day when I wanted to like sleep. Oh, I take some of that sometimes. But I feel like I just need something to take the edge off me. I'm just like a lot sometimes. And like people don't really. See, maybe they, just anxiety pills. They don't see me as a lot. I see me. Like everything is so internalized. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm like, oh, maybe I'm asking for a lot from this and blah. But yeah. it's me asking me, <laughs> me overthinking, me creating scenarios. Yeah. Instead the, of just like. The fact that you can't sleep even though you do this, like I'd be exhausted. Oh, yeah. I'd be exhausted thinking as much as you do, analyzing like everything. all that. I'm like, I don't I, even do half of that. And I'm I still just, tired. I want to be a basic B sometimes so badly. But then I'm like, that I want mm. a basic be like how you kind of are. You have a Stanley <laughs> and you get your hair done. You get Botox. OK, it's Some kind of parts basic. Of me are basic. We'll yeah. just like take my heart out in my head. Oh, OK. And then replace it with something that's just a little more hardened. Yeah. You'd be actually going. a perfect candidate. Um, I don't know if you ever heard of it. It's uh, called The Wizard of Oz. It's a movie. <laughs> They actually go and help you find those missing pieces. Okay. We're going to work on that. Yeah. 
Great. Okay. Great, great, great. Love that for great. you. Great. Let's get into Topic Thunder and hopefully I don't land on something weird. Why don't we, since we're still on, you're kind of bothered, I feel okay. like. Okay. Let's just go into the bothered 30. Okay. So that was like a bothered, like, I don't know, 60 or so. So let's go into the bother- bothered 30. Cat has a bothered 30 today. Um, One of many. And we can give the people what they don't know that they need and want in regards to your... Oh, are you ready? Yeah. Hair. Go. Okay, this is like a quick ball of 30. And listen, my hair is growing back in and I have like these pieces that are just sticking up constantly. I have to like gel them, hairspray them, whatever. And they end up sticking up or it looks like I have like flakes in my hair from whatever I do to stick it down. So we have growth back. I'm very happy about that. Thank you, Nutrafol. Thank you, everything. But my hair has been a hot mess and I look like a psycho 90% of the time without hairspray. Nice. Hate it. You feel better? Yeah. I just want to roll out of bed and look fine, but I have like all these. <laughs> <laughs> like even my part. Yeah. But it's growing back. It's like, it's better. It's yes. so much better than it was. It's so much better. So, so much thicker. So much thicker. So much nicer. Thick. All right. Topic thunder, ladies and gentlemen. Again, rainbow wheel of topics. Cat will spin. A, it'll land on a topic and then we will ask a question about okay. sex. Go ahead. Great. <laughs> sex, sex, sex. Um, a question I have for you about sex is what is the most public location that you've ever had sex in? Mm. Public location. Yeah. Like a public, like a public location, like somewhere in public. Have you ever? Yeah, but I can't, I have such a hard time like remembering things because you've done it so much in public. I just feel just like. Kidding. A car has happened. A car like in the driveway, on the side of a highway, in a parking lot. Multiple different ways. Okay. Mm -hmm. Lots of car sex. Well, when you're younger. Yeah, that's pretty much the only option. And I'm trying to think. In the probably in the ocean. In the ocean. Mm -hmm. Controversial. Mm Mm-hmm. I'm like trying to like go through. I mean, when you've been with someone the last 10 years, you try to think of like. And I feel like when you're with somebody for 10 years, you're probably not just like randomly. No. So I'm trying to doing think it like, in public. I'm like thinking. <laughs> um, I yeah. mean, those are pretty good. Those, those are pretty, pretty good. good. Right? Yeah, yeah. The ocean and multiple cars at any given time. Mm-hmm. When you're young, you don't have your own place. You kind of just figure it out. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But no, I've never like never like a restaurant bathroom or something right but i'm also like germs oof yeah which was interesting to me when you said uh ocean oh i don't mind that I what are like you gonna do germy. something's gonna like well salt is like also really good um like salt i feel like cleans things yeah sure it's like whatever mm-hmm. it's, it's better than like a nasty lake i feel like with like algae yeah <laughs> Hell, yeah that's gross i know um, or a hot tub or a hot tub. That is. That's gross. But that's a UTI. Yeah. I know. So. Nope. But I'm just like. Boring now. Well. I mean. <laughs> we kind of all are. Yeah. I feel like. We get older and you're like. Yeah. This bed is great. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Even if you're like somewhere else. You're like. Let's go to the bed. It's more comfortable. Yeah, literally. I'm like. Oh, my back. I got back pain. <laughs> literally a pillow yeah have a pillow? no pillow like for your for, uh, lumbar back. support <laughs> and it's like you don't want your legs like too far up because then it yeah. might be like you know you might be sore the next day literally. but just your legs like but nothing else <laughs> just from getting stretched like, can you do the work today yeah i just have to lay here yeah okay. just lay on your stomach well that was great that could be relaxing okay thanks for answering thanks for being honest and answering yeah, there you guys go. Topic thunder. We should get a theme song for that. We should. And by theme song, I mean some like some sort of like yeah, would be great. But obviously, ACDC. Like, yeah, maybe we'll change a couple notes so we don't yes. get okay, sued. Copyright. Um, what were you saying earlier? What's the uh, oh of- okay? So I <laughs> so for a while, Izzy would ask me what the national what day was it today? Mm-hmm. And at first, I was like Tuesday or Wednesday, whatever. And she's like, no the national day what holiday is it because if you look it up there's like i want to say at a minimum 
five ho- like national observed days mm-hmm. for every one day of the year. Mm-hmm. They also have national months. Yep. Aside from like like March is Women's History Month. Mm-hmm. But it's also National Noodle Month. I love noodles. And noodles, I think, really cross various generations, various cultures. 100%. There's all types of noodles out there. Mm-hmm. Big wonder... noodles, long noodles, short noodles, stuffed noodles. Yep. Rice noodles, wheat noodles, chickpea noodles now, everything. spinach. Everything is, can be a noodle. Yeah. Um, do you have a favorite noodle? Do you know how many people are texting each other saying, send nudes? I love it. Mm-hmm. I, I love it, that. Literally, if someone said, send nudes, I would bring them a bowl of noodles. Oh, my God. Yeah, DoorDash. I'm like yep. mac and cheese or something. You know what? I actually DoorDash the other day. Wow. Um, it was raining. I didn't feel like going anywhere. Kids were crazy. Pho. Big bowl of pho. Oh. Or pho. I don't know what people Wait, call so it. Wait, so I always get nervous if I were to DoorDash that because like was the spillage minimal like how are you minimal. getting it they give it like um all the the noodles and the basil and everything comes in like a bag oh and then they have the the broth broth in like a container and okay. i always just heat it up for like a minute to make it extra hotter oh it's great to just eat it at home and slurp it up i love pho pho see yeah i mean i say pho but i guess it's pho it's pho but yeah it's spelled pho i also love a good uh wonton soup Mm, from like, is so good oh, so good i love i also love thai noodles everything everything rice noodles i think peck muck muck i think that means make it spicier oh peck oh. muck muck thai food thai oh my aunt used to say it when we'd go to thai what, restaurants what, what is it peck muck muck i don't know peck muck muck so if anyone here just tell me i'm an idiot if i'm wrong but i'm pretty <laughs> sure she said that but she was also heavy on the booze <laughs> She was also drunk. Yeah. So she's saying nothing. She's to like, them. send news, pack, mark, mark. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Mm. My um my friend is Filipino and they always had pan sit for any sort of like family gathering at all. Mm-hmm. And it's rice noodles with like a bunch of it's like almost like a lo mein, mm-hmm. but just better. Yeah. So good. Mm, sounds so good. I'm into it. Anyway, I'm hungry National now. National Noodle Month. National Noodle Month. So, so go have your noodles any way you want them. Any way you want it. That's, that's the way we need it. Any way you want it. <laughs> <laughs> we love a song break. <laughs> Who needs commercials when you have us? <laughs> <laughs> we would like commercials. We would. That'd if be you want cool. to advertise with us. Yeah. Any, any sort of noodle companies out there? Yeah. Now's your time. Now it's time. Um, yeah. So I think that's all we got for you today. I'm yeah. kind of over this. Because <laughs> we're talking about noodles and now I'm like, I'm hungry. I'm hungry too. Literally. Whenever so. I talk about food, whether I'm actually hungry or not hungry, it's like my mouth starts to salivate. Literally. We got problems. It's like I am Pavlov's dog. <laughs> <laughs> that is how I identify now. Literally. That's but, fair. Yeah. But thank you for tuning in. Uh, you can catch us next week and all the behind scenes content at the Unbothered Moms on TikTok, YouTube, Instagram. Like, share, follow, subscribe. Give us a comment. Yeah, we like comments. Yeah, we like them. So. Good or bad. See you next week. Bye. Bye.